Well, certainly the Metropolitan Police want to speak to a shopkeeper uh, in an area uh, not too far, about 10 minutes drive or so from Wandsworth Prison, interviewed by the Telegraph or at least one of his colleagues, said that he had, on the morning, uh, not far uh, long after 7.30 in the morning, had seen a bid food truck. Mm. Of course, it was a bid food truck that this young man had fastened himself to the underside of. Uh, apparently, a young man running from the direction of the bid food truck, as it was at some traffic lights there mm. at Wandsworth County Court. Uh, and at that point, uh, the person was seen running towards the traffic lights and getting into a black car and disappearing. Uh, described as uh, lanky, uh, dark-haired individual. Well, we know that uh, Daniel Khalif is six foot two in height and is of slim build. Uh, so a loose, loose description there matching him. But obviously the bid food lorry, the running, the diving into the car uh, and taking off. There was quite mm. a commotion, according to this eyewitness. So the police want to speak to him as a matter of urgency. Absolutely. Mark, thank you very much. I will now bring in Robert. He's been sitting very patiently. Thank you very much. The uh, defence editor at the Evening Standard. Look, suspected terror links, suspected Iran links here. Now it looks as though there's a getaway car involved. What do you think is going on? Well, it's, as Mark was saying, it's a professional job. If that proves to be true, there's very good evidence, very strong evidence, it was a professional pickup. They were recovering an agent. I think that it's more likely that this chap, despite the allegations that were made about fake planting bombs, I think it was espionage. As we were discussing just before now, they are very worried about an assassination campaign, which is very much an Iranian MO, modus operandi. To, now. to assassinate who? Possibly dissidents. Possibly people who have been helping the British uh, a great deal. But the other area, of course, I'm sorry, can we ever leave it out of the headlines, particularly when I come on to GB mm. News, Ukraine. Iran is becoming increasingly at not so much one remove a very big player a major supplier of equipment of cheap drones cheap missiles to russia think of that part of the mission there's obviously it's quite elaborate from what mark so mark rowley has been saying the network inside the UK, they want to find, find out anything that we know about them or anything we know about this kind of missile and drone technology which is going to be useful, useful to them. Game on at the moment. Russia is finding it difficult to find supplies. It has to turn to places like Iran and, as we know now, uh, North mm. Korea. And it, it is very much part of a pattern, but there has been growing concern about Iran for two or three years now. Mm. It's very interesting. If, you, if I go to an MOD briefing or a security briefing, yes, they will talk about the problems of, of Russia, but point two or point three is nearly always Iran now. Mm. And so, by the way, it's also desperate so, so, for so, stuff so, for its nuclear yeah, uh, exactly. Look, Mark, Ro Mark Rowley, the, the top cop at the Met, was also saying, well, we're having a look at whether or not this is an inside job. Uh, yeah, I think you probably should be having a look sure. at that. And it looks as though if this sighting is credible and true, which is that... Uh, he is believed to have got out from under a lorry and got into a black car and been picked up uh, and taken away. And that looks as though you said that's someone... Recovering up, an agent. Recovering an agent. Yeah. I mean, that implies that there is a heavy-duty network going on here and he was probably helped out with the prison as well. Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's... Absolutely. Because as, as uh, 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 prison staff and Mark Rowley's own staff has been saying, actually, it sounds, oh, yeah, he strapped okay. himself under a truck. Actually, it was quite elaborate to prepare that, because not only was it the equipment, it was the superb timing of that. Which the was superb actually... timing of it, and knowing where to, if it's true, again, obviously, but it, knowing where to get off as well. I, I mean, if you are underneath a lorry, I don't know how exactly you would know. Presumably they are having quite a long look at the individual who was driving that lorry, who no doubt claims to know absolutely nothing about it. Do you think he's in the country, though? I think it's 50-50. Because there's one thing that this network would know, is how to disappear him. And they may put him underground. They may hold him for quite some time before they get him How out. funny, but this is the thing, though. I mean, how They don't want him arrested, it? by the way, at any price now, because it is quite clear, with the holding charges that he was on, there seems to me 
from the elaborate nature mm. of the springing of him that he was much more important possibly than they even thought. Mark, I mean, how valuable could this guy be? I mean, he wasn't massively high level in the eye. He was in the Royal Signals. I mean, is, is, is he a Mr Big? Well, that's still to be decided in a court with the trial scheduled for November of this yeah. year. But Iran, in as Robert was saying there, is viewed now as a very significant uh, emerging threat as far as authorities in mm -hmm. the UK are concerned. Counter-Terror Command launched 15 separate investigations into plots orchestrated, they say, by the Iranian government against individuals here wow. in this country. Iranian... Uh, satellite television company in Chiswick in West London in November of last year had to have counterterrorism specialist firearms officers stationed there for weeks because of credible threats made against staff there by Iranians. One person was actually arrested uh, taking photographs of the wow. area uh, at the Chiswick uh, Industrial Park there. So some real concern about that. But I should add as well, I mean, if... We don't know, but if there are any links to the Iranians here, and if this young man has fallen uh, into the hands of the Iranians, either uh, organised or not, it doesn't mean he's safe. You no. know, because effectively yeah. for the Iranians, you know, with a trial that might expose well, Iranian why? attempts mm. to spy on the UK... They just don't want this person speaking. Quite, actually. Can I just pick you up on one thing? Go you on. said about this man just entering the Royal Corps of Signals as a, as a private. What a wonderful entry point Royal Corps of Signals does. Satellite surveillance, mm. cyber, countermeasures, short-term signalling, long-term signalling. It's an integral part of the enormous digital battlefield, battle space, which is now filled with a lot of action in Eastern Europe, Ukraine. Yeah, look, really well put. Both of you, thank you very, very much.